Hello, we are here at Bocelli with Mohammed Rahman and Robert Palladino. Yeah. Go ahead. So, Robert, thank you so much for making the time to meet up with me. And very rarely in my life I had a chance like this to meet the great calligrapher of our time that changed the way the world is. Steve Jobs was one of your students. What are your memories of Steve Jobs when he was in your class? When he was in the class, yeah. I did not notice him that much. Right. He was uh, a freshman at the time, and only juniors and seniors usually came right. into the class. But there were three freshmen that year that got right. into the class. One of them now is a professional artist in New Mexico. Right. And I lost touch with the other one. But uh, Steve uh, was pleasant in the class. And I noticed that the other students liked him very much. Right. Yeah. And since Reed had a very high intellectual level, I think in retrospect that maybe it was because he was so intelligent. Right. But uh, when he came back a few years later to uh, consult with me about Greek letters, that was when I had some interchange with him. Right. And I found him very pleasant. Also very original, and the students that brought him to see me all act like they were bringing something very important. And, wow. and at that time, he was just working out of his parents' garage. Yes, he wasn't yet a person that was a world-class citizen. Yes, but when he died, I was interviewed. Uh, not only by Oregon, One of them, or even public, or even public broadcasting. But also, I was interviewed by Tokyo. Mm -hmm. the, the Japanese were the most inquisitive about their questions. Yes. They asked things like, uh, where, where did calligraphy come from? When did it start? And, yes. and then there were uh, people from China interviewed me. Both the Republic of China and the Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And one of the most enjoyable was an interview by the BBC. Yes. From London. That was a nice interview. Beautiful. So, uh, overnight, I became a celebrity. Even you though, are a celebrity. Even though I taught many students at range, we have a celebrity. Many are out, were outstanding, even as young people. Now, that's wonderful. What? How does it feel teaching calligraphy to a great visionary like Steve Jobs that changed the, the course of the history um, for this world? Well, as I say, <clears throat> when he was in the class, he, he was just a freshman, right. and he was just another uh, person in the class. But uh, in teaching, for me, it's always been giving out life. Yes. Because to me, to learn is to love. Beautiful. And if, if I can help people to learn, I've helped them in their lives. That's wonderful. And I really enjoyed teaching, especially at Reed, because they were such intelligent students. Beautiful. Very enjoyable. Great. What is your advice to young people today? What would be your one important advice? Well, one thing I would say would be to love beauty. Seek it. Yes. That would be, lead people in different directions. I think that if they, they start it with that premise, they're on the right track. Beautiful. And that might lead to world peace. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Robert, for making the time to meet up with us. And this is the start of a great, great friendship. May God, may God bless you and give you.